Hi, this is Paul from TradeFifth.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday, the 26th of March. Had a day off yesterday, it was my birthday. So we're back to it today, straight away. Markets pretty range bound yesterday. Took a lot of profits on the swings yesterday uh, on my phone while I was out just to accumulate some profits there. Really undecided where it's going to go. Futures at the moment above yesterday's highs, uh, although they weren't spectacular, uh, but they're looking okay. So I've gone for a long signal today. We've got a lot of long signals. Uh, I'm going to go from our stock signals membership where our members get to download spreadsheets every single day for potential long fifth wave trades and short fifth wave trades on the 60 minute the daily and the weekly time frames. You can see here in the membership area, I've highlighted the 26, but I can go back. Uh, and look at other uh, signals from other days. But in the membership area, we click on the spreadsheet for longs uh, and download the spreadsheet, which looks on something like this today. So I've chosen ENTG. So this is my list of uh, potentials of dailies uh, on the day time frame, potential longs, over 100 potential longs there. Uh, so this is just today, the 26th of March, the 60 minutes as weekly as well. Uh, let's get into this and look at the, at the chart. So I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim trading platform here. Uh, it's also available for multi charts, Ninja Trader, and TradeStation. We can see ENTG on the daily time frame here. We've had an ABC correction coming down, and now our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite is also identified. We've had an Elliott Wave 1, a 2, a 3, and we've had the Wave 4 pullback in which we are really interested right now because we want to trade the fifth wave trade. Let's have a look at how this sets up. So our stock signals membership has a few filters on there. First of all, we need a pullback against the main trend, which the wave four is, and it's found support in one of our probability pullback zones here. It's in the green zone that represents an 85% probability. It's going to go on and make a new wave five high into automated target zone there at $42. The next is the performance of that wave four. During that wave four pullback, the oscillator must pull, our Elliott Wave oscillator must pull back between 90 and 140%, which it has done so far. The stochastic is the next behavior of that wave four. We can see the yellow bar on the top here in the overbought zone during the wave three. That denotes a really strong bullish trend. When we pull back against that on a stochastic and cross over in the oversold zone, it is highly likely that it wants to return to that main bullish trend. And then finally, I'm just using my multiple time frame dot cloud uh, from our black box breakout indicator to confirm even on the weekly time frame there, we're green. The overall trend is bullish, giving me a little bit more confidence, this potential long. So we still need to be quite uh, conservative on the entry strategy for this. Uh, usually we use our six full moving average high, the green moving average here, which is part of our Elliott Wave indicator suite. But I want to be a little, more, little bit more conservative with that. So I've gone above the high of last Thursday here. Uh, so 36.47 is my entry long for ENTG. And remember, when we're swing trading, we don't go long until we go through our entry price. We've got to be patient. We've got to wait. We've got to make sure our stop which is 33.95 doesn't get broken for the order and we start to move away from that wave for low so we yes we're a little later into the into the trade but our risk reward is still one to two into the bottom of the target zone there so we can afford to be patient if this fails uh, and the stop is taken out for the order before we get in we simply cancel the order wait for a lower support level to be found if our rules are still met with our Elliott wave indicator suite we look for another entry but as we stand going into tuesday the 26th of march trading session this order is good all the criteria are met we just need to be patient it may not even trigger today um, but it's ready. We've got to be ready. The whole point of building up your watch list with lots of these potential fifth wave moves is to get ready for the move, whether it's up or down. We have longs and shorts on that watch list. Uh, you know, yesterday I took 810% uh, profit on the current open trades for the swing trades because I had a lot on, a lot that came back in this sort of situation that triggered, uh, but the markets were in that indecision phase. I didn't want to take the chance of carrying them over. So I, I literally took off 85% of my open trades yesterday and took 810% profit times risk because I didn't want to do that. And I was in that situation because I'd set up lots of these from our stock scanner membership in our swing trading membership area. So I 
built all these up, got them ready, they triggered either long or short, they were in different positions as far as profits was concerned, a couple were in a loss making position, but I closed them all out, pressed the parachute button on a lot of my trades and took a lot of profit. So the idea is to build lots of these potential trades up. And this is one of them, ENTG on the daily time frame, long 36.47, do not go long, before that price. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.